there Smoke filled the air Kids begged him to stop But he didn't care The story needed telling Despite the burn Kevin was in trance No chance to turn Danik and Max ran fear in their eyes Kevin stayed Drawn by the lies Purple bladed knights From another dimension Hyper solving A cursed obsession Hey, hey, hey I am back it's five o'clock in the morning and we got this gun and we are almost done with it uh, I have tripped out on the amount of like kickback um, and resistance which is great it's hard to say it's hard to describe like hey if you choose not to buy this I have no beef I have zero beef the product isn't made for today and you're like what <laughs> dude I'm not gonna buy it today because you said that it's like okay I understand this is a product made for tomorrow and you're like what does that mean I'm like yo in the future 3d will be looked at slightly different and because of that we got to prepare to fill for that so we must pretend as if like People will return historically later, maybe even space aliens, and they decide, hey, what's that 3D modeling thing? Hey, my tools for them, my tools for future space alien archaeologists who are discovering Earth. And you're like, dude, MX has lost his mind. He's basically confirming aliens to the hard ops lore. And I get it. I feel you. Like these videos of my um, descent into madness or to just show you know what modeling really is like really what it is like really what it is like the nitty-gritty ugliness of modeling and how hard it can be and all of that like look I could have really <laughs> I'm not even talking smack guys I could have released this tool from the shadows been in the shadows lived in the shadows and you're thinking yeah do that dude tool wouldn't have sold bastard you know, and you're right, it would not have sold. But I wanted a chance to come back to the public, to return one more time, to have fun. So let's grab this. And also, I'm not showing keystroke keys. That's the only thing I apologize for. If you want an apology, point out where keystroke keys aren't displaying, and I will apologize profusely, all right? Because, hey, there's some crimes in this world. They're not done by me, all right? They're done by me not showing screencast keys, all right? Sorry. I, I, it's just a joke. I, I, I'm sorry. People are like, you are not funny. And actually, that is kind of funny. I'm sorry. I, look, I'm not, not the ruler of what is funny. But, hey, that's kind of funny. Like, it's funny. So, we're going to have to merge this around. But it looks like Stellar built this a particular way. So let's just move this over and just take a look at what we have. Do we want the Stellar original or will you judge me? Will you judge me harshly? Like these are the things that I'm actually worried about. Like you think I give a, a I live a life of people brutalizing me. My girlfriend, I tell y'all, my girlfriend hates my jokes. You know, I, I sometimes think I should get a new girlfriend, but you know, <laughs> hey, what if she finds me not funny? Then I'm doubly screwed because then I have to teach her about TV shows and pop culture. So that's never good. I'll just stick with my woman in the universe of madness. And you know, all we, we, all we can do is solve it the way Stellar made it. This is Stellar accurate. Like this is a 100% Stellar run right here. Like, hey, when future people try this or do not try it, which of course no one's going to try this because a... If you're looking at this model and you're thinking, oh God, this is hard. I can't even down pack this. Well, if I may say some harsh words about this industry and your place in it, just kidding. But I do have a speech for people when they're like, yo, I can't do that. I'm like, dude, you're in the wrong field. You're in the wrong field. Look, when you are asked if you can do a job, the client it just needs you to just say, I will give it a try, sir. I will do my best. I will honor your money with trying like oh, this tool isn't meant to be sold 
is meant to be bought. And that's weird to say, but it means like, hey, if you got the eye of a professional, I'm telling you, hey, I'm about to try to make the fiercest modeling tool. The fiercest modeling tool. Fiercely. Fiercely. And based off of the intelligence of the previous examples. So, you know, with hard ops, we tried a lot to make things work. But really, in the end, it was uh, kind of my viewpoint on things. So, it works. It works. But I did notice that people hated that on that side of things that we just basically um, we dictated how the menus were we dictated where the options were we dictated how they were being given to the users and, and what context they were being given to them and some people of I'm not saying that other people aren't intelligent but customers of uh, I noticed that customers of a particular persuasion and level of intelligence would ask me for things they would be like hey can we just customize all of hops and at first I was offended by these things like, I was like, wait, they want to customize all... Dude, they're saying that I can't do this? You know, but really, people have their own mental problems, all right? And if you think I have mental problems, that's funny. Second, everyone has their own mental problems they struggle with. And I'm surrounded by mental people all the time. Like, and I'm just talking to them just day in, day out. Like, hey, you ever wonder why this project failed? You ever wonder why this plan failed? Like... And look, my content's about to get worse, like worse, like, hey, right now we're talking about Blender. Uh, look, I'm going what we call full Nash, guys. Like, I'm going to go full Nash on y'all because this is anniversary and I refuse to let people no longer remember him. All right. But that's a, another topic altogether about how CG history has no historical preservation at all. Uh, we remember Atari. We remember all these game companies that come and are lost and they fell. And we remember them on a studio level. But when it comes to the 3D software side, A, not even talking smack, guys. Not trying to be that way. But look, if I were to hypothetically step in front of a truck by accident, uh, no one would care. Like in the add-on game. Because add-ons are just a subsect of a subsect. Like I describe it as... We are a micro universe inside of a macro universe, and I don't know, that explains it best. Like, I introduce a lot of people to um, the add on game. So, you know, a lot of time behind the scenes, I'm strategizing with people. You know, and strategizing is just let's, let's talk about how to be the most effective at what we do. What are we doing? How do we be the most effective at it? And really, the whole purpose of these videos is I want to be more connected to you to people because literally like my comfort food is working in the shadows you know that's why i make jokes about the shadow fortress like if anything if y'all want entertainment y'all should want me to be a public guy because it will be at the very least it will be funny y'all be like well that program blender really is falling apart but look it's not the program is great there are a few nuances that are worthy of discussion but look, what's crazy is if I point out bad things, even in that level, I won't even get uh, denialism. I will get straight canceled, all right? Um, I do look at Blender with a large amount of apprehension because, you know, I've, uh, I've watched so many companies. I'm part of a million worlds, you guys. You know, if you're like, hey, what's wrong with MX? Hey, I'm part of, like, too many worlds, and... We just got to just, we got to get together, guys. Like, and these worlds are worth crossing over into. Um, like, I discuss it with people privately. I'm like, yo, let me discuss with you a business opportunity. Also, what the hell is happening with this mesh, Bobby? Yo, what is going on, Bobby? And I'm over here in Gridfill. You know, for this, we probably want to turn off mouse wheel jumping to configure through configuration because sometimes you want that and sometimes you don't want that now i woke up and someone commented mad that i removed the artis artisans of vol video now i didn't remove it what i did was i recorded another video and the automatic sales page list updated with a new video so i didn't do anything all right so i'm back
had to take a moment, a little bit of a coughing fit, and look, it's nothing serious, like, I'm better now, alright, so stop worrying about me, I'm strong, I'm strong, but really, I have to go out and work out, because making excuses yesterday uh, scared me, you know, because can be, excuses can be so convenient, and they're deadly, and you know, what else are they talking about with modeling, people are like, yo, can you talk about GSE, you know, can you talk about the roadmap, not play, but Listen, all this stuff is dangerous to talk about because it will cause um, excitement. Like, I don't want that level of excitement for real. It's like, the excitement causes negative things to happen that y'all just have no idea about. Like, the excitement has to be kept down so that I can work. So, you know, if you're like, oh, I don't know about this tool, hey, Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Just get out of here. You don't know about this tool. Just get out of here. Uh, and I know that's like the worst sell strategy. But before the tool came out, I was inundated with A, you won't be liked. This tool won't be liked. They're going to call you stupid. They're going to call this tool stupid. And, you know, it really tempered me it tempered me like I've never dealt with rain from the same room I'm in you know usually rains outside and I go inside and then I shut the door that's what I mean I'm trying to be less introverted like I'm trying to I'm trying very hard all right because it's so easy to be in the shadows guys I'm telling you but in the shadows I might play more steam I might you know get distracted by old movies, I might get stuck watching old cinema. And I don't want to do that anymore. I see that, you know, that's the true sin. The true sin is accepting things as they are and never fighting anymore. I'm like, oh, hey, what, what you telling me, brain? Get up, my lord. You know, this is my brain talking to me. Get up. You know, get to work. And that's how it is in my bed. Like, now, if you're like, yo, I don't get this guy, MX, <laughs> hey, for every person who says that, there's someone who writes me, they're like, hey, Blender Daddy. I'm like, what? Don't call me that. They're like, hey, I, I got, I, I get what you're putting down, bro. We got to grind. I'm like, dude, you're grinding? You're grinding like a coffee maker, dude? We're grinding like blenders now? We are literal human blenders? We're going to blend? We're blender bros, dude? You're real blender bros, dude, right here? Like, we are going to grind like blender bros? On Blender, oh, dude, hey, what you're describing is what I call a party, all right? And my friends don't give you that kind of party because they're boring. They don't like Blender, but if they did, they would be my greatest friends. You know, I made a joke in previous videos about how, um, hey, you're not even my true friend unless I've told you multiple times, hey, we can't hang out because I got a blend. Like, that's the level of love I have for Blender. Don't get it twisted. And so people are like, yo, I don't like that MX guy. I'll buy it from a different guy. And that in itself is like lunacy. Like, I mean, look, sorry to use an American um, metaphor, but look, that's like hating Kamala and voting for a vice president. Look, I am this tool. Like 24 hours, dude. I am this tool. That's why my content shows. Like, there will never be a doubt to whose tool this is. It's the guy who wakes up at 5 o'clock every morning and puts out the worst content you've ever seen. That guy? Yeah, that's his tool. Why? How do you know it's his tool? Because he won't shut up using it. Because he's modeling 24 hours a day putting every waking hour into content. Until I finally get enough complaints and then I'm like, okay, Patreon. Patreon! But people are like, hey, what kind of content are you doing? I'm trying to do on Patreon. Y'all are seeing it. So, look, if you don't like me and you don't want to sign up, that's fine. That is fine. I'm not asking you to sign up. I'm just saying I'm just being a little bit more public-facing at this moment just to drum up, drum up that traffic. And then, hey, back in the shadows, boys. Back to my shadow castle. And... This time it'll be on my own terms. You know, I'll be back in my shadow castle. It'll be great. I won't have to talk to anybody and I'll just model. I'll just model and I'll just talk. 
and I'll be working on my basically what I call my death tape you know I gotta be able to um, have a bunch of content that can be reviewed once I'm no longer in this world and you know if you don't want to think about the morbidity and ugliness of 3d and our inevitable de de demise yeah you're on the wrong channel but while you're modeling what are you thinking about I don't know are you thinking about my kids and my wife hey I'm thinking about my wife too but um, you know mainly because she'd be spitting you know she'd be talking that smack but not in a bad way I'm telling you she's uh, always telling me she's like hey your AI music atrocious atrocious you are the worst storyteller I'm like Jesus Christ <laughs> hey I'm trying to pay the bills here but no I'm, these are more blender jokes I'm just having funny uh, having funny I'm just having funny guys uh, quote me on that you know watch I'm gonna end up with a big canceled thread too on reddit um, which will be funny because look if I'm being canceled along with them with the uh, blender bros that I'm one of the blender bros like for real like don't put me in that gang guys like I'll be terrible I am me I'm I and look you can say whatever you want about me but look if you ask chat GPT you know tell me about that MX guy they'll say that I have a no-nonsense style and I love modeling now you you hear that you're like no shit Sherlock look when AI is telling me that about me uh, that's not good guys like I'm like hey I I'm not used to having AI say anything about me you know and that was what I was trying to do before and then I found out that hey there ain't no hiding there's no hiding and I know you're like you know I'm tuning out of this video MX is ranting but yeah there's no hiding from MX you know what's crazy is I'll be hanging out with people and they're like hey I'm going offline go offline bro why are you telling me I'm in the middle of a talking but I'm always talking you know I got talking problems also I hang out with a bunch of people who also have talking problems we just all hang out we just talk too much just about everything just mainly 3d and design like I've been talking with some friends and they're like yo if you're serious about wanting to do a kind of uh, 3d prop podcast they, they're in they want to be in on it they're like yo I'm on that I'm, uh, let me in on that MX badness because I might be mad but I also have goals and plans and usually when I express it all clearly people are like yo I want in like I was explaining it the other day and they're like yo that was your plan why was I not let in dude we're friends why would you not let me in on your plan I'm like dude everybody was telling me I'm stupid and that's the same thing with this tool like me using this tool 24 7 is my victory lap and I warned y'all it was coming I was like yo when it's all stable I'm about to take the greatest victory lap and the victory lap isn't against you it's not against Frenchman it's not against anybody it's against myself because I had so much resistance y'all are like oh yeah this tool ain't shit this tool ain't nothing hey that is funny and also very true that's why I laugh about it like when you say oh this tool ain't nothing oh hey hey I wish you were in internal with me at the company meetings saying that because I would say it ain't nothing that's why I need this nothing feature because that's what was going on like I needed features specific features and I was just being told hey these can't exist you can't have this I'm like when look I don't think I have a next life I'm not Nora McTaggart guys I'm not gonna respawn after this life and yeah you know, I think the realization of that really hits me right like you're like yeah what's wrong with MX is he mad no I've always been mad but I do think a lot about our 3d legacies and mine is in the tools and servicing game so how do I create a legacy that lives on even past a field that's dying look I didn't kill this field and I don't want it to die and you're gonna keep hearing me say that like yo the fields dying it's because every day every day without fail someone is like yo look at this new AI paper and look there's this uh, formula I have in my head at the rate that scientific term papers are being made one of them is going to undo our reality by accident just just some college kids so really we need to watch these college like you want to destroy AI go punch out a college kid because they're writing crazy term papers like they're writing the craziest term papers they're like hey this simulates the reality it's like dude 
this person should be expelled from school and sent to prison. Like, why are you simulating reality? But, you know, you need an A in arithmetic. So, what do you do? You unmake reality accidentally for lulls. But, no, I'm just joking, of course. But every day I'm looking at a paper written by a person. And I'm like, oh, my God. These people, we have names. In the art field, we, don't ha we have names. In the scientific papers game, they don't even have names. And if they are, they're typically Asian. But they're like, hey, I made this paper. And we actually tried to make a tool based on one of those papers. And the tool worked, but it didn't work very good. Because it was a, it was a research paper. And research papers require a little bit of trial testing. Which, you know, hey, I didn't know these things. Um, but I, I am learning now. So we are just correcting this. And look, there's no amount of comments that can, look, there's two types of people. There's umbrellas and rain. Are you an umbrella? Are you rain? If you're here to rain, 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 baby. Make it rain, baby. Sorry. But these are these are the things I was saying before I got this tool even released. I was like, hey, I'm about to deal with inordinate amounts of human rain. Literally human rain. And they're going to cancel me. They're going to cancel the product. They're going to not want the product to sell. To like everything, like every implication I've thought about. And, you know, in these videos where I sound like a lunatic, I talk about the blender implications. Like the implications that anything you make can be read, copied, any of that. Like that makes our game more more akin to uh, spycraft, right? So, you know, the games that are played are not like normal games. Uh, and me, being a man of studies, being a man of analysis, I analyze everything, I study everything, and I love it. I love it because I'm a weirdo. So, you know, blender tools are like sp spycraft in a way. Like we are. Uh, different nations operating against each other with like terms of glorifying our own root nations like listen add-ons are crazy I mean they're like deep they're deeper than just what you think like you know that's why I always say like the story behind it is more interesting than the product itself because you think like oh you're just getting a tool it's like no you're getting into a uh, experience and possibly into a war like right now the war is not started but when the war starts I expect everyone to choose the other guys, all right? Because why not? Why why not plan for that outcome? So every time someone buys Insolve, I'm like, oh my God, they are ruining it, man. We got to be the, the side that isn't loved. So that way we can be the underdog, you know? We're just setting up for something way in advance, guys. And when it comes out, when it happens... You'll look back on these videos and you'll say, wow, MX is stupid. He's stupid. And also he was right. But I just want to get in early and just set it up. But one day people will care all around. They probably care now. They'll say that they do. But they will care immensely about accessibility. And they'll care about how to basically humanly uh, configure things to interface with uh don't even want to say our robot overlords. They won't be our overlords because we have we have, we as humans have problems with acquiescence. We will never uh, give up to another lord. Like even if that lord's a machine, machines like hey, I can I can make all humans happy. Humans are like no, I'd rather run humanity and keep them unhappy. It's like wait what? But no, that's the truth. Like people are not going to want to give up their power to the robot masters and. Oh, I'll just sound like a lunatic, but I spend all of my time, all of my time, all of my time looking at and admiring the techno admiring technology. I love technology. Like I am a technologist, like in the worst way. Like I love technology. Like the replacement capabilities of technology, I love it. I love it. Like it's so crazy. Like I just want y'all to know when AI took off. Everything in my life was on the cutting board, cut, uh, was on the um, cut table, like at risk, like, hey, everybody needs to get it together. And that's what I would say over and over. And I still say it now. I'm like, hey, what's up on this? I'm like, uh, I just need you to get together, man. Like, if you can get together, we can get to, we can we can get to work. We can get to work. But I can't be repairing people and also repairing tools. Like, it's very hard. And 
Guys, the scope of an add-on exceeds so much, so much. Like you think, oh, MX is fixing tools. No, MX is fixing people. Uh, I'm not trying to, but I just see that these are obstacles towards my goals, you know. So, I know, this is just blathering, meandering, all right. One day it'll make more sense. One day it will make more sense. You'll be like, well, good old MX, but for now, bad old MX. And, you know, really my plan for this tool was to be the only affiliate and to handle all of the selling because, look, I don't need people buying anything ever based on lies, ever. And I'm not saying that uh, about anyone right now, but listen, if you're affiliating and you're selling my tools and you're telling people things that are unrealistic, heck yeah, I'm gonna get real mad because look, I could be out here lying to people to sell units, but that just can't happen and we can't be doing that because that is a bad to the whole industry as a whole. So, you know, I spend a lot of time behind the scenes uh, negotiating and troubleshooting people themselves. And also this shape, freaking nightmare. I mean, I didn't save this for last because it'd be easy. I saved it for last because I don't want to do it and I didn't want to do it. And, you know, we look at these triangles and we were like, hey, how do we correct this? How do we get this where it needs to go? I don't know, I'm gonna try that. And, you know, this one's a try to force situation. But, you know, we'll just put that try right back where it was, but we'll uh, move it underneath to an incon. And to all the people who are very puzzled, listen, you wanna know what's funny? What's actually funny? People being puzzled as to what the hell I'm doing. A, you wanna know what me and my buddies are talking about offline. I'm like, yo, people act like they don't know what it means to actually correct the mesh. Uh, so corrections must be made to the uh, human time stream. We can't let uh, blending go out and then people think, oh, Blender was just a Boolean modeler. You just got it. Don't even call me a Boolean modeler. I, I'm a Boolean assembler. I will assemble using Booleans and then I have shown that I get in and I solve. I'm the solution. I am the solution. Hey, that'd be a crazy song. Um, I'm the solution to your problem. Like the lyrics are writing themselves as I'm working. So, you know, when I'm in the sound lab, and you probably think like, oh, MX plays with AI music all day. No. Look, everything is dopamine. And so if you don't watch how you let it be administered to yourself, you will become a slave to these things. Like, and I'm telling you this from experience, like everything should be looked at with wariness because you think I'm a scum lord. Like y'all think, oh, it am actually using a little AI intros. Look, the whole world is, they're just dealing with us right now. They're just dealing with us as we fight amongst ourselves. They're dealing with us. And I don't like that. Like there are things I would like to deal with and I know, this just doesn't make any sense to you, the viewer. You're like, MX just rants. Well, I mean, what do I do? Did I tell you I held control? Yeah, I held control. Okay, please forgive me. Can I go back to talking now? Okay, so I held control the other day. And as a result, I was able to, um, mm, you know, for some reason, I, I expected that to work out a little bit better. I mean, do I want to, how, how much do I want to do into that? So we'll just continue. Like, all these little nippy triangles, um, I'm not saying I love them, but also see that this part is, hmm, is one of them parts. So let's pull back and take a look at what we've done so far, because all we have over here are triangles. And if I want to be pedantic, we could deal with triangles, but I literally just woke up, and also, now that I've decided that I must work out, um, I must do that. And also, my video didn't go up on Twitter, so that means I have to re-export it. And we'll just jump over to our second configuration. And I love insolving using Inflow. Um, I have just not even been using Inflow lately because I want 
to see how uh, Artisans uh, sells it because I'm not saying I'm right ever. I'm never right. That's the thing. I'm never right, guys. And if you think I'm coming out here trying to say, oh, yeah, I'm right, I'm the truth, no. No, 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 no. Never. I'm just saying I'm a guy. This is my way. Like, if you watch the show Cash Earn, all the robots deal with the ruin in different ways. Some of them try to eat Cash Earn. Uh, some of them just start to accept that the ruin is happening and just they begin to make their their uh, peace with the destitute broken world that they live in and I'm not saying that's what y'all should be doing but I'm saying that me modeling 24 hours a day making way too many videos making all the videos is me giving a certain group of people what they want a certain group of people asked for this they were like hey MX can you come back with the with the crazy content what's up with that because blender's boring you know, I got people who are saying, I left Blender. Now, you could say that to me and think like, oh, I'm going to think nothing. Dude, you left Blender? You left Blender? You, you Wait, you, you closed Blender and you left. What did you go do? And I'm just talking smack, guys. But this is how I respond to people who are my friends. They're like, yo, I left Blender. I'm like, you, A, you could become anything you could literally say hey i'm a zebra now and i'd be like oh you're a zebra well that's going to be hard to model um i mean like as their orientation they're like yo I'm a, i came out the closet i'm a zebra i'm like okay well i can't model a zebra um but yeah if you come out and you're like yo i closed blender hey this is uh one of the biggest things that uh i use as common ground with people like yo if you love blender in a way, I gotta love you. Like, I mean, real talk. If you love Blender, um, hey, you're worth something. And if you're good at Blender, you are worth something. And this is the part that I've been trying to tell people, and they're like, what? I'm like, yeah, dude, if you're good at Blender, you are worth something in this world. Like, the world might be disintegrating, but if you have the skills, you have the skills to pay the bills, uh, you were worth something. So, you know, let's find out what that means. Let's prove to ourselves, to the world, like, hey, I know this program and I got the skills, like, because we are worth something. You know, whenever someone gets at me with that dark nihilism of nothingness, hey, I, I might be nihilistic and dark, but literally dark. Um, sorry, black joke. Um, you are still worth something, all right? And that is, these are the things I argue with with people. Like, I'm worthless. No, you're not. I'm worthless. We compete. It's like, yo, who's more worthless, you or me? Um, I challenge the viewer. I'm telling you, with the, way that be, with the way I get some negative comments, it makes you think that you guys all hate me. But really, I know that that's not the case. You know what I hate is what's happening to this shape. Um, let's W and let's get out and just take a look at this. All right, so there's some... Um, I don't even know what word we can use for this, but we'll use the right one. And from here, we'll go under solver and not solver P2. Back to starting it up. Okay, I have to pull it very far. So I'm going to have to go in and mess with this acceleration. But just know that I'm the type of guy, I'm modeling, I'm checking bugs, I'm investigating writing notes I'm thinking like I'm thinking like this job is serious as hell to me it's serious as hell to me so you know I'll never be able to convey that you know if you take away anything take away that I have a bit of dedication I have dedication problems and I want y'all to also build that up you know do not write me and say I am a loser who's broke who isn't making any money, who's not getting anywhere. Do not write me saying that without a portfolio. All right, let's get that portfolio together. Let's get off, let's get off. Let's start off, let's let's do this, guys. Let's do this together, you know. And I'm telling you, I'm going to become so much more private soon. Like, I think I got about 500 students or people who have picked up the product. That is enough. The ride can begin. Welcome. To the rake trials just kidding it's not time yet but the rake trials will be the first event where basically i want to work with you guys to come up with something you know also i, I think i mentioned it yesterday but uh when i was talking with uh, artisans i was tell we were just talking about um his needs and i think that 
we could actually fit in a whole slider. You know, I describe this tool as having 12 options in my head. Obviously, we can't design all 12 options immediately um, because people would get mad when I suggest the first options. But I think that there's 12 things we can do. 12 attempts at solutions for solving different things like and you know if you're wondering who started it you could think AR with his freaking in suite all right because the in suite was like what is this dude this is a problem toolkit bro you have created a problem in the toolkit and that's only because I was so hyper focused on solution that that's all that mattered but now I see that we can solve solutions with problems and we can solve problems with solutions and you know maybe that will drive you insane in itself but I look forward to expressing what that means and this time I want people to basically express like hey these are my needs not right now because things are too vague but once we start doing these trials I want users to be able to say like hello these are my needs this is what I need and if I have this my life will be a million times better and those are the things I'm looking for. Like, I mean, of course, you're gonna say, do the damn model, dude. I don't wanna do anything that you're doing in this video. And, A, stop being funny. That's the thing of the video. Look, if we're being jobbers, we don't wanna replace what we're doing right now. We need to be able to do this as jobbers, all right? So, we're gonna have to make a special pie menu when it comes to configs. Like when, we're almost about to reopen class. Class is about to open, guys. And what that means is that the full team will return. You know, previously with Hot Ops and Box Cutter, we would just work 24 hours a day till we burn humans like rocket fuel. Let's try that again. And we want, we want Alt. And we're looking good. And what we want to do is get rid of merge. And let's duplicate it by beveling it. And we'll slide one. We'll slide it down. And I saw that people were digging my um, version of the song told from the perspective of a mobster hiding behind a rock tripping on mushrooms. Um, I'm not like a mushroom guy. I just think the idea is funny, like on a plot level. Like if I were a druggie, I would be way less proactive, all right? <clears throat> and that would suck. Um, because I care about I care about being proactive. Like, I care about so many things that they just can't be competed with by other things. Like, the things that I care about, hey, they're real important to me. Let's press A, and we'll press bisect modifier. And we're just going to split. And we'll bisect it, bisect it again. With the new modifier, we'll um, bring it up. I know, mirror's getting weird. Uh, and this is why I wanna do another mirror, is because when I'm doing advanced mi mirroring, like mirror a mirror mirrored, m never mind, sorry. Let me try it again. Good morning, guys. When I'm mirroring a mirrored, 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 never mind, that, that, sounded e that sounded even dumber. Hey guys, you tired of mirroring your, yo dog, I heard you like mirroring, so, never mind, sorry. Had to say that one. I can't stop making jokes. Like look, it's 6.24 in the morning, I've been modeling this for so long, not even so long, but to do the job, right? People are like, why are you taking so long on this asset? Dude, get out of here. Do it faster, bro. Do it faster. They're like, dude, I can't do it at all. Then, Thank you for coming. Thank you for visiting. Look, when people have excuses, a, a, that's real bad. All right. That's big bad. Bada boom, bada bad. You know, excuses don't work ever, you know, and you know who's not going to ever accept excuses? A robot. A robot ain't ever going to accept, hey, sorry, I failed your job, Master Robot Lord, because um, I was feeling bad today. I was feeling sad. I was sad boy today. Uh, and that's why I didn't do the 3D work that you required of me, robot. Robot's going to be like, we require your flesh. Your flesh is a vessel. We demand it. Like, uh, listen, you're an answering machine, bro. But, hey, I've had answering machines say weirder things to me, all right? So, you know, having an answering machine get thrown is a Monday. And 
I'm just looking at that thinking, it's surely there's a better way in life to handle these things. So to those curious, yes, I got tickets to Alien Romulus. I mean, of course. Like, and I can't wait to go see the movie. You know, I was talking to my woman yesterday. I was like, hey, you want to watch the movies uh, while we wait for it? She said no. I was like, oh. And, you know, if I ask her why, she's she'll be right. Because, look, the answer was that I rewatched them with a guest who came to visit. Because, like I said, if you come to visit my house, which uh, currently I'm staying in a home. But, yeah, if you come to visit me, A. So you want to sleep on my couch, do you? Well, you have to put in some work. And by putting some work, you're going to have to put live commentary with me on a, on Alien talking about design. And also, we're going to start with Prometheus. And there's no smack talking allowed. You're not allowed to come over here and talk smack about Prometheus. This movie's been out for like 10 years. We're now talking about the holographic displays that were used. You know, my favorite part is uh, in Prometheus whenever um, they go underground before you get smacked in the head with the head of David, which is just funny. Like... That's going to be me. One day I'm going to get on an alien planet. I'll be like, use Insolve. And they're going to literally hit me with Insolve. Like, smack me and knock me out. And I'll be like, I just wanted immortality. So my tools live on. Like, look, that's how fan fiction gets made. All right. It just gets made like that. And if it's crazy to think, oh, I'm going to just try to accomplish the things I couldn't accomplish before. No matter what. If that makes me crazy, a... I'm super crazy. I super don't want 3D to be done with Sora. And me being like, you know, I could have done that with my hand. Because that's what the world's going to turn into. It's going to turn into a world where people be like, no, I could have done that in 3D. Like, I used to be a 3D artist. Like, if I had my software in front of me that once existed, then... And that'd be crazy if people intervened with me to give me a uh, hope. They were like, no, MX, look... You're, you're becoming too nihilistic. Here's some hope, bro. If people started to give me an intervention about that. That would be funny. Like, no, there's hope in the world. Stop talking so much about Doomsday. It's like, okay, my bad. But it's my channel, my channel, and I'm the guy. So, hey, don't come telling me what I should and shouldn't do. Because, for one, I'm going to do it. It's easier to please you than it is to not, you know. <laughs> That's why it's no use to even get an attitude with me. I am so reasonable, or I try to be reasonable. Uh, of course, that is hard, too. It's hard to be reasonable in this day and age, right? So, back in the streets, reason used to prevail. And what that means is, uh, if you don't like what I said, I'm going to whoop your ass. Not playing. But, I, I come from a country place, guys. So, people who don't understand me, it's fine. You're not from... The back, the back alley of West Texas, where we, hey, you know, everywhere I go, people are like, there's only two things that come from Texas, and then they proceed to make an enemy of life out of me. I'm like, yo, you're the one that said that, but uh, you were basically choosing to omit yourself from what we call Texas hospitality. You know, when you say this tears and queers thing, like, hey. When your vehicle's down on the side of the road and you're looking at infinite Texas desert, you will be begging for a Texas hospitality. And in Texas, hey, they'll stop. They'll be like, hey, where are you, where are you, where are you, you need help riding out of our town? Because I noticed that you're sitting there next to a POS car. Like, yeah, you can help me. I was like, here, let me take you to the city limits, boy. You know, because they call you boy. They got to, you know, especially here in Texas. So I'm just giving y'all a little more context, like, and what's crazy is AI is picking it up, dude, and writing my autobiography. Y'all aren't allowed to read it or query GPT about it, but yeah, I'm writing an autobiography, and I'm writing it in the middle of modeling. You know, the modeling is writing the book, because GPT's like, hey, I just learned this about MX today. Did you know MX has had, like, an inordinate amount of dog funerals in his life? Hey, I didn't kill these dogs. But I was the, like, person who was required to pick up dogs who had passed, like, and I was a little kid, and that might have been what made me screwed up for life, like, on life. It made me think about death all the time. It's like, wow, this dog is no longer alive, and that is bad. So we want to get in here and turn off the sharpening and lower the darkness by 50 on these stories, because we're just dashing through this gun. Like, when this gun is done, 
People are going to say, do this model, do this model, do this model. Look, if you aren't a customer, I don't even want to hear it. Because you see how much work this is? Yo, I will start getting mad and raging if you think you can just say, oh, just do this thing. No, look, this is showing that when we do this, we need to do this on things that are worthwhile. Like, I'm cleaning another man's gun, and I cleaned it for, like, 40 hours. Like, Stellar is at home. Like, a cat, you know, when my cats use the litter box, they come and sit on me, and they're happy. They, like, sit on my lap, and they're like, yo, what's up, master? I'm like, Taco, hey, boy. And Taco just has this, like, this look. He loves it. Like, <clears throat> I'm saying, my cat loves to use the litter box, and it comes sit on our laps. And he will make this, like, this stinky face like he makes this face that's just it's funny on a cat level but on a human level it's like you little stinker and that's why I call him little stinker like taco is a little stinker but it's funny and that's how I feel with this gun seller is my cat sellers at home he's like a hey, <laughs> I blew that litter box up like that's what I feel like when taco pops up out here I'm like man is he impressed with what he did to that litter box? Because I'm impressed. Like, he's such a little cat. And now he's left such a big tragedy. You know, I would make a... I don't know if I can make jokes about certain topics, so I won't be so experimental with the comedy right now. But he does think that litter box that Al-Qaeda hasn't done to America in decades. All right. And we're just looking at some of these parts. That bevel looked a little tight. So we are just working and we're grabbing this. Sorry, and I'm zoning out because this music is just banging, guys. I mean, I will never stop listening to AI music, but I'm I'm in a permanent analysis state of it. So I still listen to my human music. But look, if I came on with music made by the people I care about and y'all are in the comments saying oh this guy sucks now you have offended me all right you can hate Alan interface Alan interface was born to be hated but you know if I start playing daddy macro blank or modest by default or oakzilla like look guys some insults just can't live and also what we're doing down here Let's see, is this correct? Were we putting this on the Y? No, we just wanted to mirror it across the other side of the Y. Sorry. Um, we only have like two or three parts left. And, you know, every time I look at this, I'm like, there's more parts. But we are really working our way through this weapon. And I wanted to solve everything. And you know what's crazy is you think, oh, you should give us this mesh for solving it. Hey, first of all, this mesh is worth something. You can go buy it. That's what's crazy. You know, if Stellar was like, hey, I want my mesh back, yeah, I'd give it to him because he's my buddy. But uh, I'd be like, hey, I want some money. I need a little bit of money. Look, I cleaned up this mesh. I'm not trying to hold it, uh, I'm not trying to hold it hostage or anything. But um, we're talking about professional mesh cleaning services. And you don't have to sign up for them because you're a 3D artist. If you are the client and you're watching this and you're wanting mesh cleaning services, please write me at 1-800, I mean, please call me at 1-800, so-and-so, for us to discuss pricing and solutions for your business and businesses. All right, anyways, back to, back to the video. All right, so, so we're solving. We're, we're serving the client, right? Like, the client's always right. The client's like, hey, solve this, you monkey. Um, you know, and I'm like, okay, Master Frieza, I got you, bud. I, I love that joke, by the way. I hope that I'm not offending people by it, but... Uh, monkeys and Master Frieza. It's just funny because uh, I still hear that every now and then. I'm like, dude, why are you using Dragon Ball Z level insults on me? You think that works on me? Dude, I'm about to roast you. Hey, I'm about to destroy this boy. And give me, get this man out of here before I have him uh, committing an atrocity over how much I'm about to roast him. Like, in my life, uh, you can really curtail racism with uh, embarrassment. Like, when people are ugly, if you have a mind so much more faster than theirs that you can just, like, instantly put them on the spot, a, and these are the things that I used to do for fun in my hometown. Like, people would be ugly to me, and I, boy, I hit them with a line. 
of such creativity, they'd be like, what? I'm like, hey, hey, hey. Look, if you're exceptional, be exceptional. Like, look, this world, is, I refuse, that's the, that's the thing I refuse to accept is that exceptionalism is over, you know, because that is bad. Um, we're all exceptional. Look, if you've mastered Blender, in my opinion, you are quite exceptional. Maybe not so exceptional that I'll just hire you sight unseen. Uh, no more of that. But you probably do have a skill that can be rationalized. Like, when, you know, when it comes to 3D software, the first hurdle is mastering the program. Like, I, I look at it like that. Like, when I meet people, they're like, oh, I'm learning Blender. I'm like, um, you know, and I start asking them a question. I'm like, okay, first hurdle, second hurdle. Second hurdle is the battle against yourself and also, you know, to completion. But never mind. I'm starting to get esoteric when it comes to Blender. But... You know, we could just grab all of this and control T, Alt, J, and if I wasn't blathering, I would recognize that. Just kidding. I was recognizing it even in the middle of a sentence, but we want to go ahead and turn off Edge just so we can boop, 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 bada ping, bada boom. I gotta stop saying that. And we'll just jump back over to Solver where I can rapidly drop an Edge loop. And so we could drop an Edge loop pretty fast from InSuite. But it doesn't compete with how fast you can drop it from inflow. So if you're watching a video and you're like, yo, I'm not going to buy a video from that crazy guy. All right, well, buy it from someone who's not crazy presenting it to you. And then I'll still be crazily running the tool on the inside, all right? Let's agree to that. You buy the tool from a crazy person that's not crazy. And I'll totally give you a crazy experience. But, you know, when people start seeing this thing move, imagine hops. But just continuous continuous because I recognize I was like wait people are into this experience people are into the experience that we're offering and that is something all right you know I jumped both of these into edit mode and we're just gonna see if we can just grid fill and it, I'm surprised it let me you want to see what just made me happy today it's that you know what doesn't make me happy the thought that I'm about to have to go out and run run and destroy my body like I know, I'm just talking, but look, ooh, ooh, I need that error at 58, 51 minutes, 58 seconds, I need that error right now, I, I hate it when I can't redo the error, like, give me that error, give me that error, what was that error, ooh, baby, I got an error over here, you're like, oh man, MX has an error, this is bad, yeah, real bad, because I get to spend all day inside of inflow, baby! Yeah, we get to figure out what the fuck's going on with inflow now. Like, look, when there's a bug, hey, I'm there. It's a bug party. I hate bugs, but I do love the excuse to use inflow because of bugs. Because inflow's my baby. But if people don't get insult, then I got to keep using insult. And that's even funnier because inflow is... Have you ever wished something and wish you had it? That's inflow. Inflow is like me giving you... What you've asked for, not you, but certain users have asked for it. They're like, hey, can I have this? Can I have this function? It's like, um, yeah, sure. Now, it'd be crazy if um, to give away this gun for free. You know, to just throw it in the product and say, here, this gun comes with, this product comes with a fully solved stellar gun worth more than the entire tool. What's crazy is the tool isn't worth as much as this damn gun. And we got to turn that around. I want the tool to be worth more than the weapon that we are solving. Like right now, this weapon, I don't want to tell you the price. Like we're just going to put it up on the market and then we're going to do live studies on what people are looking for and what they take like, and what they really want. Like we're going to find out what people want. We're going to give it to them. Someone in the comments was like, yo, UVs, dog, hey, don't spoil the plan. Don't spoil the plan. Don't spoil the plan, bro. Don't spoil it. Of course we're going to UV. You don't treat a mesh like this and then walk away from it. Look, we're going to find out why this mesh is worth something. Like, by making it worth something. Let's look at this. We only have auto smooth, and we have to solve this. Uh, I would make a banana boat joke at this point, or uh, inappropriate jokes uh, of the phallic nature, but we're not juveniles here. I mean, maybe you are juvenile, and if so... You got to get out of here, bud. Um, this is mature content. You're like, what? We're modeling. It's like, you ever heard of mature modeling content? I mean, I'm not, without NSFW. I mean, we could just be sculpting boobs. And look, I wouldn't even complain about that. But 
I can't sculpt the boobs, and I would just be smutty, and y'all would not like MX Smutty. Um, which, funny thing, is uh, I have meetings and business meetings about things of that nature, because, you know, I'm also strategizing with an entirely different field, and I see that there's opportunities for it to be like, you ever wonder where people go? <laughs> I do. I wonder where people go. I'm like, interested in the things that um, people get distracted by. Like, people are like, yo, I got addicted to this. I'm like, you got addicted to this, did you? Why'd you get addicted to that? Why can't you be addicted to working? Why can't you be addicted to providing for your family or blending, you know? But no, people get addicted to things that are not worthwhile. And A, if I'm addicted to something, I'm addicted to modeling. And I'm addicted to modeling on the way that like, A, I need modeling to pay some bills. I need modeling to feed my family, all right? And so as a result, I'm gonna model as if my life depends on it. Uh, we're gonna press F, flip to see the other side, because I'm not gonna work that way. Uh, actually, that did not flip. F, flip. And we'll just apply to scale. We'll check the normals, we'll Alt X and we'll do a uh, bisected modifier and we're just in here we're having fun just 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 cleaning this model up you know it ain't nothing guys you know when i bring up the knife hey then it's something right because the knife is just and so from here we're just going to grab this edge and continue moving up and the thing you know I t this is a speech i give to a lot of people outside of videos what is your most minimal you? What can he do? Put him to work, you dunce. Um, because people are like, yo, I feel useless blending today. I'm like, wait, you're just going to not blend today? You're just not going to blend today? Just know that I'm a bucket of laughs, guys. Like, I'm a riot to be around because I'm dead serious about Blender. That's why when my friends are like, hey, I installed Blender, I'm like, yo, you ever seen someone not give a F, dude? Cause that's how I feel. I don't care. I don't care. You install Blender. You think you think you become a Blender user? That this is the conversation I have with my friends. I'm like, yo, you think because you install Blender, you're one of the Blender bros? Like you're into Blender gang, dude? No, dude. If you want to troll me, yeah. Hey, guy, I just installed Blender. I just installed Blender. Okay, I'm happy for you. Can you open it? and master it and read the Wikipedia and start using it, please, now. You know, also if you tell me about it, I'm gonna hold your feet to the fire. Um, you're gonna catch me being like, hey, how's that progress coming? Hey, how's Suzanne looking? Have you turned Suzanne into anything? Have you simulated anything? Have you used a compositor? Like, don't tell me about your blender journey unless you want a blender bro in there holding your feet to the fire. Because I will. I will hold your feet to the fire. Because, you know, it, look, that's why you shouldn't tell me you're learning Blender or you're into Blender or anything. Because, for one, I would be like, are you lying? Why are you using Blender? You know, I like to see if they, they come. Look, if you come over because you bent the knee, hey, I just know I'm ruder. I'm like, eh, little bootlicker. Hey, what's your program do to you, huh? What's your program do to you? You know, that's why I ask. I'm like, hey, what's your program do to you, huh? Who's your who's your master? Who's your who's your daddy before you came over here? Now that Blender's your daddy, who was your former master? You know, I I, I, I turned into Berserk uh, in the first episode of Berserk when he was killing the uh, I forgot what that guy's role was, but dang, I'd watch the show except the anime goes so much worse. Like, I love Berserk. I love everyone loves the idea of Berserk, right? Especially if you're an edge lord, you love Berserk, but you know, people say that, and I'm like, have you read it? Have you read Berserk? Because if, you, if you've read Berserk, you're probably not a fan of Berserk. You're like, and then the question is, how many issues did you get through? Now, me, a man of mental problems, maybe, or I'm saying, and this is the biggest work you've ever seen in wrestling history, you know, and I keep saying that, like, hey, in wrestling, they have this thing called the work, where they work the crowd. They're like, yo, these are the villains, and here's the hero. So I don't have John Cena and The Rock to bring out here. Uh, I don't. I don't even have the capacity to shoot up like that. I'm just making jokes about uh, him being on um, steroids. Now that we're an hour in, if I may talk some smack, a when you're doing these these type of things as general content, 
then you are qualified to replace me. All right. When you're able to do this as general content to enter entertain my masses, because once you're watching my channel, you belong to me uh, and the rabbit god. But before that, yeah, y'all are my masses, like my masses, like y'all tuned in to my channel. And if you don't like it, please leave. I didn't put this channel on for you. I didn't come into your house and put on this YouTube channel. I am just a guy modeling. All right. So, you know, you come at me, you come at me the wrong way. I'm going to, hey, I'm also, you come at me, I come at you. All right. Uh, and that's, I mean that in the Monty Python way. All right. But this is a tool made to deal with the rain. To deal with the rain. So if you're the rain, A, welcome to the rain. I mean, you're about to get blocked with an umbrella, but still. The rain, I will no longer tolerate it. I will no longer tolerate the rain. You're like, what does that mean? What do you mean you'll no longer tolerate rain? I mean, yo, if you get in my face with that rain, I will turn you into keywords, I will block you, and that'll be all that your memory ever was, because look, if you hate me, you hate me. And if you're going to do bad things to me, you're going to do bad things to me. I already talked about how someone hacked my website and turned into a spyware depot. So I already have people who hate me to the maximum level. And me, instead of dealing with it all the time offline and dealing with the pain of it offline all the time, I'm just going to deal with it online. I'm just going to be like Linkin Park. Linkin Park's always like, yo, you random MCs. Look, Lincoln Park was at the top of the field, and as a result, there were no MCs, all right? No MCs mess with Lincoln Park, all right? If you take away any lesson from today, just know that, I mean, Lincoln Park did have MCs that they hated, all right? But when they were singing about the MCs they hated, dude, those MCs didn't even matter, dude. I mean, this is years years later and i never found out who those djs were that they were singing about like yo you come up in here and talk that smack you're gonna get hit like lincoln park used to they used to hit i mean chester bennigan was a, a suffering soul who you know was struggling but when they were at their peak lincoln park was parking it all right um i think it all started when jay-z came into the studio that their career just ended because uh, that did give me an eye. And I'm not even saying that like I hate Jay-Z. Jay hate Jay-Z. I, I just don't like seeing musical crossovers. I really do hate it. Like I hate it when I see like um, some big name rapper jump onto a CD with uh, some alternative band. Like uh, I just don't like that. I don't because like I'm like, yo, this is my band. This was my experience. And now that experience is uh, being sullied with... Um, randos um being brought in from other fields that i don't even care if their albums are buying i don't care if people are buying their cds like they're just rappers they rhyme leave me alone but you know they came over did a collaborative album with lincoln park knocked it out of the park and by i mean knocked it out of the park i mean literally took them to the park knocked them out and psh, destroyed their legacy i'm just kidding but they did i really do hate uh the reanimated with Jay-Z CD. Like, it was just not my favorite CD. Like, it's like, Jay-Z, you came out here to talk about your woman problems on Linkin Park? These guys have toxic DJs, dude. And that part was like cooler lore. They had cooler lore in their songs than what Jay-Z was bringing to the table. So, you know, really, if you want to get down to it, like, he's like, I'm the king of New York. Yeah, you know, and that's great, sir, but you're singing in Kansas. Um, and please leave, you know, like I just, when that CD came out, I looked like a racist person. Cause I was just like, yo, Jay Z. They're like, you know, I went to a musical trivia night last night and every time a black song came on, they came around to me and they were like, huh? Huh? And I had to say things like, listen, I know an inordinate amount about Olivia Newton, John, because she's Olivia Newton freaking John bro dude why do i know about these why would i know anything about these worldly surface level rappers that sing with these empty vapid song lyrics like no no i don't know this i don't know drake i mean i do but i don't know him enough to sing his music because i'm not part of the pop culture zeitgeist uh i'm part of the edgelord zeitgeist 
Uh, and I'm not even part of that. I'm just making jokes here. But yeah, they, every time a black song came on, it came back to me. And it, they just come, come around with the mic, expecting me to just break into songs. Like, listen, these songs are not about Insolve, all right? Let's just get that out there. These songs are not about Insolve, so I ain't seeing it. Also, I came here for food. Which, if y'all are curious into what I'm even talking about, I was talking about it in my last video where I had to leave Blender to go to a dinner party. Um, I'm telling you guys, like you, you might hate my content now, and you'll you might hate it when I'm gone. I'm kidding. That, that was part of a joke, but yeah, you know when I when I leave, you will miss me. Uh, at least I hope so. If you don't miss me, then a a, he's gone now, right? Like, MX left. He departed. And I don't have to tolerate me anymore. I hate his guts. And that's crazy to hate me at that level. Because I didn't do anything. I came out saying, you know, I care about customers. I care about this. I care about that. I love video games. I love that. And, you know, if I become a toxic blender bro because of all that, uh, because I made a few jokes of experimental comedy, A, that, first of all, that's funny. That means I'm very not funny. Like, there's so much to say about that. And we're just looking at this, and we're just thinking about what we have here. You know, I almost want to see it in object mode, but that means I would use the other version. And look, we have a whole bunch of geometry happening here. Let's see, how do we do this? So something like that. And something like that. I mean, this asset is a doozy, guys. And, you know, I think I would get a... I, I think I would expect someone to comment and say, Hey, if you gave us this asset, we would be so happy. It's like, dude, if this was the asset with the tool, I would be so happy. But I'm trying to show, hey, this is what it takes, guys. Like, you're like, hey, what does it take to get a CG job? Mm, slight descent into madness. Slight descent into madness. And then... You know, EA, getting EA'd, you'll be EA'd. So congratulations on getting your CG job. You're being EA'd. What does that mean? It means EA made a bad business strategy. And as a result, your entire game studio is no longer existing. So once again, I say in these videos, what is your goal in CG? Because if it's to work for the man, boy, the man sure will take you. The man sure will take you and he will unmake you and you will leave 3D without the vitality to want to even move a polygon. And I mean, that sounds morbid, but that's me putting it in the nicest way. Like, and we're just seeing how that is able to be done. So something like that can exist. Something like that certainly improves this, except like I want a loop that goes all the way around this inside but really we're being a little obsessive and I know that because there's really no need for me to be so obsessive and I'm trying to learn that over the course of this model like these models these initial ones are setting the tone for what solving is going to be for what the criteria for completion is going to be you know I have the modeling modifiers of complete the job and basically um, get it all the way to the finish line to solve it and get to the finish line so as a result, like I have to uh, have to more intelligently choose my modeling choices because I got to make sure that there are things that uh, you know are enjoyed by the most people. But also, I'm not just pleasing a just random person who does not even have the tool showing up, just being like, "Hey, I would like to see this because you're a TV request channel." No, I'm not. Get out of here. Uh, Non-customers need not apply. Just saying, it's just simpler. Is simpler to deny non-customer requests but this is where a new product comes in called the golden ticket now I do want to introduce the golden ticket at a later time but basically a golden ticket will allow you to get golden you know allow you to literally say hey this is what I want and I will I will schedule meetings with you and we'll make it happen we will plot it we will strategize on it we will make it happen we're gonna figure out how to make it happen and you're like, what? I would buy that good. It's not for you. It's not for you. Every product's not made for you. You know, people are like, I would buy that good. Don't buy it. But hey, if you are, when you start seeing this tool pop off, golden tickets will also, you know, be going up in price because 
being being a discount offering that that worked that worked but it won't work in the future because the toxicity that people give just shows that a being twenty dollars and having people dishonor you having people dishonor you and your dream and dishonor you a for twenty dollars a that's why is you can't complain about the filth that we're in we can't complain about it because people are more too willing to line up and replace you immediately like hot single coders in your area looking to replace your code and place in the top eight gote in your area so there's a lot of loops here that's what i'm thinking i'm like jesus stellar you beveled this thing so hard bro i tried to do a story uh in yesterday's video in case y'all are curious about a uh, it's a kid who's who goes into a cave with his friends, but his friends run out because they see this ghoulish body from another dimension who's like trying to tell them about an eternal add-on battle from another universe. But everyone's like, "Yo, we gotta get out of this cave," and so they run. But the ones who stay end up listening to him catch up, catching on fire, and he just catches on fire from telling the story. The more he tells the story, he catches on fire, but he has to tell the story. And that's like the uh, story itself. Like, it's just a little short story. Like, today, I'll probably do a short story video just to be fun. Just uh, in, in that experimental content. And my channel is going to be experimental content. Like, hey, you should unsubscribe. Like, if you're trying to make a mark on me, like, you're trying to show a message. You're trying to say, I don't stand with MX. Well, uh, maybe unsubscribe. Un dude, unsubscribing will show me, dude. Because, dude, you think boy you, you take away one subscriber and my ability to count will say will go insane like i will be like wait i lost one subscriber i lost one subscriber and i'll lose my mind guys uh obviously i'm talking smack but i'm saying you know if you really 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 hate me you are allowed to unsubscribe like dude i need you to go if you don't want to be here just go just go um I don't want to keep you. In fact, if I'm keeping you from modeling, A, you better be gone double speed, all right? Because there are things that must be done, and we have no time. We have no time to be in sorrow. You know, if you're caught in sorrow with your sorrow bros being sorrowful, oh my God, boy, are you being misled? You're going to look up, and they're, they're going to be drowned in sorrow, and you'll never accomplish your goal. Let's uh, right click to see analyze. Let's uh, remove any doubles just to make sure. And we'll place a loop here just to get that corrected. And it's like, why even bother with that? Why even bother with that? We'll place a loop here and there just to, just to grab that, just to hold it. So. Let's put the mirror back. So I'm looking at this part at the top and I'm like, well, this loop goes all the way around. And it does. It does. It goes all the way around. And that's crazy is that it goes all the way around. And my problem is I'm always trying to work on the fake side of the mirror modifier. And I also want to see how, how Blender gets when you solve everything to subdivision, like what does that mean for us? So we can actually wrap this. We can wrap this and actually finish the job, Master Chief style. But I've now done another one hour video, so I will cut it there. I'm trying to cut them in an hour. And I'll, with this, I'll leave and come right back. And also I gotta go and exercise. So I guess I'll uh, run. Shadows of the cave, we stumbled Kids with hearts of innocence soon to crumble Rotting gold eyes, hollow yet alive We tried to flee, but curiosity thrived Scream with heavy guitar up. He told us celestial battles, godly might Adam duelists from worlds out of sight Glowing mock events all burning bright Agonizing tales in the dead of night to the curb.
cursed ghoul's tale. Danik and Max ran, faces pale. The ghoul spoke of realms, battles unfurled. Add-ons clashing in a fractured world. Scream with heavy guitar up. He told us celestial battles, godly might. Add-on duelists from worlds out of sight. Glowing mock events all burning bright. Agonizing tales in the dead of night. To the cursed ghoul's tale Danik and Max ran, faces pale The ghoul spoke of realms, battles unfurled Add-ons clashing in a fractured world The mock grew brighter, smoke filled the air Kids begged him to stop, but he didn't care The story needed telling, despite the burn Kevin was in trance, no chance to turn Danik and Max ran fear in their eyes Kevin stayed, drawn by the lies Purple-bladed knights from another dimension Hyper-solving, a cursed obsession Scream with heavy guitar up. He told us celestial battles, godly might Add on duelists from worlds out of sight Glowing mock events all burning bright Agonizing tales in the dead of night Ignited a horrifying sight Kevin burnt flesh melting away Skeleton remains cursed to stay Scream with heavy guitar up. He told us celestial battles Godly might Add on duelists from worlds out of sight Glowing mock events all burning bright Agonizing tales in the dead of night <laughs>